All right, guys. Um, I went down to my local transfer station today, and went to recycle some Pentium One and Two computers that didn't work, and well, of course, that were outdated. And dropped off some obsolete parts as well. Guess what was sitting in a tampon box on the ground? You guessed it. This commercial Keurig B140 coffee maker. Now, at first when I went to recycle the computers, I just turned around and the only thing I could see was the chrome handle and I could see the top part of the machine. I didn't really know what it was at first, but as I got closer to it, I can just see in the box where it said Keurig. So right then and there I knew that it was a coffee maker. And this is kind of like a very odd coincidence because B Bishop PCM found a Keurig commercial coffee maker not like this one but a much more newer and advanced one that had the touch screen options. The only best part for him is he didn't find it in a tampon box. The most embarrassing thing that anyone could do is put it in a box and have someone else going through that box to get this. I kind of felt embarrassed going through the box because I didn't want people to see me doing that but I just grabbed it and took off so that's basically how it turned out so <coughs> so anyway um, what's wrong with it? well nothing right now um, I will tell you this though if you watch B Bishop PCM's video on the Keurig, I don't know what it is. I think it's a B100 or I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'll look online and when I edit this video, I'll post a title of what it's actually called. And I'll also put a link in the description so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But when he garbage picked the coffee maker that he got it had a problem very similar to what this one has or had, it's fixed now the problem with his is that there's a little um, piece of tubing like there's hoses all through the machine but there's this tube where the boiling water comes through comes down into the, the chamber here and then goes in the cup. That piece was clogged up. It had coffee grounds stuck in it. The same thing happened to this one, except for there was no coffee grounds. Um, there's a piece in there that was stuck down that was preventing the water from going through it and going out the spout. Instead of the water going through there, it went all the way back in and went out that spout. So, it's the same basic problem that he had with his. But, my, I kind of wish I, I filmed the repairs, but there's a reason to why I didn't. The reason why I don't film the repair steps and whatnot it's because half of the time I don't know if it's going to be fixable or not. In this case, <clears throat> the B140s have a huge failure rate. They fail so, so quick that it's unbelievable like on how bad the quality is. Like It looks like it's built like a tank, but it's not. It, it really it really sucks when you think about it. If you go on the Keurig website and type in the B140's name and look in the, the commercial area, 
you'll see a lot of negative um, comments about it, how pricey it is, and how long it lasted. You know, there's a lot of upset customers with this machine. So that is one of the biggest concerns with it. But luckily for me, the problem was just a clog, and it has been fixed. But again, I do wish I filmed it, but what's the point of filming a repair when you can watch it on B. Bishop PCM's channel? He covers all of it and he puts it in better detail than I would. He basically explains it where it will make sense, as I try to explain it, but it doesn't necessarily make sense to some people. It may make sense to me, but to others, not likely. So, anyway, what am I going to do with this thing? Well, the first thing I was going to do was I was going to either sell it, but realized, no, someone else could use it. <clears throat> and that other person is my mother. Now, you guys have seen a previous video called... Um, the Mr. Coffee one cup or the Mr. Coffee slash Keurig one cup coffee maker review it's on my channel now that coffee maker belongs to my mother it was a birthday present and I think she's had it for half a year now if that's correct yes it's been half a year and she loves it and all, but the problem is she doesn't like the fact that it only gives her one cup size. Whereas this one gives you six to eight to ten ounces. Hers just gives you one. And it doesn't have a 48 ounce water reservoir. Hers just has a one cup reservoir. I can't pronounce the name, I'm sorry. Anyway, that's another thing. I can give this to her as a gift. But here's another problem. My mother gets up every day at 5 o'clock in the morning for work. I don't think she would really like to use a coffee maker that makes a loud um, humming sound. That's basically the, the water pump that drains the liquids into the machine. That's what causes the loud humming sound. This is a commercial machine. It's not a household machine. It's not meant for households. But, you know, like, I, I don't know. You just wouldn't give someone a gift like that. And I don't think everyone would be too pleased to listen to this thing going off in the morning. Another issue that this thing has is that the difference between this one and my mother's is that you cannot use the My Reusable K-Cup kit that allows you to make your own teas or coffees. All you get is the K-Cup holder nothing else will fit in there. So you're basically stuck <clears throat> buying these K-cups and that's it. So that's another problem because there will be days where my mother will not be able to get enough money to buy this stuff so she will have to be stuck using the My Reusable K-cup. She can't use it on this. So, there's another problem where I'm screwed at. And another issue. I don't know how much, or, well, actually, I don't know how much usage this thing has. Um, all I know is it reeks of nicotine. Even though I cleaned it up, it still smells funny and has a strong odor 
of vanilla coffee. So, my mother's not stupid. She'll, she'll know it's used. Given the fact that it came in a tampon box and it wasn't in the original box. So, uh, that's the thing. And the biggest problem with it is I can't... I'm trying to figure out, should it be given to her as a gift or should I just get her a different one? That's where it's getting confused. Um, and eventually, yes, this thing will die. It, sometimes it's not even worth plunking down $130 on a machine that will fail. But eventually, yes, this will fail. Heck, it could fail just right now when I'm filming. Or it could fail within a couple months after I give it to her on Christmas. So, I'm not going to take that risk. I decided to call up Keurig and tell them what my concerns were. I told them that it is a commercial machine, it doesn't take the My Reusable K cup, and it is used heavily, or possibly heavily used. They, under they completely understood where I was coming from and what position I was in. So, they did the kindest thing. They actually sent me a brand new Keurig machine. That one over there is called the Keurig B60 Special Edition Home Brewing System. The Special Edition means that it can take the My Reusable K cup instead of having to use all of these all the time. It also has um, the silent brewing system. So every time when the water drains out of the tank, it won't make a loud humming noise. So it's a quiet, quiet system. This one's noisy and basically vibrates everything around it. So, that's pretty kick-ass. That machine over there is worth two hundred dollars. This one's worth a hundred and thirty. Retail, brand new. But it is not you, uh, brand new, sorry. It is used and I highly doubt I'll get anything for it. I might use it at work or who knows. Anyway, the deal is though since I told them that this thing has these issues I'm really concerned about, since they shipped me a whole new system, what I have to do is I have to take this K cup holder out, put it in a bubble wrapped envelope, and send it back to them. That indicates to them that the machine is no longer being used and is out of service. This thing actually has huh, the one year warranty still on it. But that warranty has now been voided and has been applied on that one. So this one will never ever be serviced or repaired. If it dies, it dies. So I cannot return this, I cannot get it fixed. And uh, yeah. So yeah, the deal is, I got that thing for free, I have to send this back. So it's kind of pay it forward. They do something for you, you do something for them by shipping this back. Now, what I could do is I could ship this back to the company and, well, clearly you cannot use this machine without the holder. If you attempt to use it, you will have water spraying everywhere. And it will be a mess. <clears throat> so you have to have this at all times. You can find those on eBay for 
about 20 bucks. Now, all I would have to do is send this one back and buy another one, plunk it in there, and I might give it to my workplace. Or, heck, I might just sell it for parts, I don't know. It, it's a fully working machine, but really at the same time, like, what, what could I do with it? That's the other problem. I could buy a whole new cup holder, but at the same time, I don't want to be dishonest with the company. So, I don't know. Anyway, how does it run? Well, we'll find out. I'm not going to put this K-cup holder in, or this K-cup in, because my grandmother will be the first to try one of these. She's never tried one, and I want her opinions on it. So instead, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Plunk a bag of tea in the cup and stir it up. I'll try to get a shot of the thing running with this in it in the morning. So, first I need to start it up. Add water. I don't know why the three lights are blinking. I've never seen that before. <coughs> so, here we have filtered water. I'm going to set it to six ounces. Okay, that should be more than enough. So, anyway. Yeah, this machine is very, very awesome. And, you know, like, it is in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with it now, but there was earlier. The only um, defective marks on it is a small, small little nick right there. And scratches on the cup holder tray. But you can easily flip that over and this whole side is in immaculate condition. It's wet because I just cleaned it, but this side is all worn and scratched. So yes, you could re-gift it, but you can't let them see that side. You might as well give this machine to someone who has a busted nose and can't smell anything because they can smell the nicotine on it. But I've taken the whole thing apart and washed it. But that doesn't seem to really do anything. But yeah, this would be a perfect thing to give to someone if they lost their scent of smell because they can't smell it, you know? Like, hey. Just saying. So, we're going to brew it now. That is the loud pump that's draining the water out of the tank into the, the boiler. Now, with that one over there, you won't get that loud noise, because it will have the silent brewing system, or silent pump. Now, the D-scale light has not come on at all yet, and I've already cleaned this thing out with vinegar many times, and I think it's fine. It's heating up right now. The light on the camera seems to be brighter, but when I'm looking at it, it's very dim. Those lights are still blinking, I don't know why. They usually don't do that, but... Apparently, if you shut the 
the system off and turn it back on, these lights keep blinking. But once it's fully heated, they stop. Anyway. Yeah, sorry for the long, boring chat about this whole ordeal, but, you know, I try not to make my videos too long, but I have no other option. I'm doing something that interests me, so I'm assuming some of you would like it. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I have a cold right now. Yeah. Hey, the good thing is I got the the container lid, which is a good thing. I feel bad for B Bishop PCM when he didn't have his, but he got a whole new water tank shipped. So that was nice. So Keurig is a really good company, you know. They really do take care of their customers and they sure helped me this year, you know, like I got a free coffee maker and another free one that's brand new and that hasn't been used. But this one reeks of nicotine and smells like vanilla. Pure, pure vanilla. And it should be ready to brew. Awesome. Okay. should be enough tea because you know I've drank enough coffee today so that will do it <coughs> now I can show you guys the cool feature the the drain mechanism water this thing can hold. It's unbelievable. But anyway, I'm going to turn it off. There we go. The thing I like about the other one over in that box is it has a blue LED light in the water tank holder and it lights up blue. And it's a nice touch to the machine. And that one also has a, a blue LED display. Or, no. Yes, it is LED. So it's really, really nice. Well, the float works. That's a good thing. Okay, so the machine is empty. Now it's fishing at me to put water in it, but I'm not going to. Done. Now that is a nice cup of tea. 
Cheers. Ah, nice. So yeah, that that's it, guys. It works like brand new. Not bad for a friggy. What do you guys think I should do with it now? Write it in the comments and let me know. All right, so I'm gonna make my grandmother her morning coffee in this awesome Keurig machine. Gonna say heating. I don't see why this auto off thing should be on because the thing doesn't turn off on its own anyway. <coughs> one last cup of coffee before I have to return that cup holder to Keurig. So, <clears throat> it will be worth it. Well, who knows, I might order another one. Don't know yet. Oops. clearly see how much water was emptied that much hmm. yep starting to eat up now Now, if I was to make a six ounce cup, it would take less time, so.
It smells like vanilla, but it's really not. That didn't sound right. Oh, no, it didn't sound right. Whoops. Okay, uh, that was utter failure. Okay, so maybe this is not going to work like I thought it was. And the words of Homer Simpson, dope. Now I just ruined this one, damn it. No cats on the table. Oh shit. And there you go. We're gonna go ahead and dump that. And I should have selected the 10 ounce because that is exactly the exact amount that that thing makes, the little one. 